Fully automatic seed replication. That's what you guys came here for, that's what I'm going to present. Hi everyone, my name is Luma and today I'm showing you different setups for the replication of different seed sizes. What you see right now, for example, is a setup that can handle the seeds of one tile high plants as well as two tile high plants as well as two tile hanging plants. When the timer tells the doors to close, the liquid underneath will form a full tile and drown the plant. The plant will drop a seed, the seed will get picked up, split, the smaller part sent back, the bigger part will get stored. Before we start with the different designs, let me point out a flaw that most of them share. As you can see the pip dropping down the seed, while the doors are closing, the orders we were picking up the seed and storing it in a storage bin. That is not very dramatic, you can just tell the orders we were to the left to place it in the conveyor loader, so we have the seed in there again. But I wanted you to know that that may be a possibility that could happen. So let me explain this in detail. As you can see, this works with farm tiles as well as with natural tiles. For the sake of presentation, I replaced the farm tiles with natural tiles so we don't have to see the red symbols all the time. We have a liquid here, in this case nafta, that is one kilogram because pips only plant one tile high plants if the conditions for the pip planting are met, in this case more than 100 grams. So if you have two less of a liquid down here, the pips won't plant the one tile high plants there. If you have a two tile high plant or a hanging plant, it doesn't matter that much. The timer sensor is set to 80 and 100 or to 90 and 90. That are the times that worked best for me for the pips to have enough time to plant the seeds, as well as exactly the time that the plant needs to die and drop a seed. The seed will then get picked up by both of the auto sweepers and will be stored in the left and in the right storage bin. Those storage bins that can be reached from the different auto sweepers, the upper auto sweeper can only reach the top left storage and the lower auto sweeper can only reach the right storage bin. Those storage bins are filled with 5 grams of any material or 10 grams but it should be a very small value because you get more of a seed that way. How you can get those tiny amounts I will show you in a second. Then this is a redundancy. The conveyor loaders are there so if you use a new plant and the system decides to store the larger portion of the plant on a different storage which will only happen if you load the game new or if you switch the seats then you can change up the priorities. You give the highest priority to the conveyor loader where the smaller part of the seed lands. So if the big part lands here, you want this auto sweeper to pick up the big plant part and store it in the final storage. If this one stores the bigger seed in here, this one will pick the bigger seed and store it in there. Then when you know where the smaller part will end up, you give the higher priority to decide where the smaller part is stored and the seed will get then sent down. Let me show you that with a full seed. I'm placing one seed right here. It's getting picked up. The bigger part lands on the left, gets stored and will not be sent down because the priority is lower. But if that changes, you can at any time change the priorities. Here we have the smaller part of the seed, which is only 5000 milligrams and it gets transported to the conveyor loader because of the priorities. The smaller part will end up here gets planted, you get a whole new seed when the planter drops and it will get split again. There you have your fully automatic system. Now let me explain how to get these tiny amounts of material as well as show you all my other setups. The easiest method to get a small amount of material is if you have some salt, like here, 500 kilograms. Just build a rock crusher, go to salt, to table salt and make one order of that. Then place it in the storage bins where you need it. Do that again for another storage and you have 5 grams in each of the storages. The second method, which is way more general, but you need a little bit of plastic for that, is just using the new conveyor meter, which is amazing. By the way, you have to keep in mind, you can set this to lower than one kilogram, and that's the whole point of the system. So you put any material in here, I just used salt again, then you get to the conveyor meter, press reset amount, and there we have it, 10 grams of salt. Press it again, another 10 grams, this will stack up, so be sure to get rid of the salt, place it in there, then make the next batch. But the most amazing thing, keep in mind, you can take all of the mutated seeds. Let's take the specialized seed from there, throw it in. It will get split, sent back, and hopefully the pips will plant them down and we can replicate that thing. 
There we go, that's the proof that we can fully automatic replicate mutated seeds. Here is a design for hanging plants of each possible size. We only have a couple of hanging plants at the moment. There's only the Dasher Salt Vine as well as the Pincher Pepper Nut. So a two tile big plant and a three tile big plant. There's no overpressure in this setup so this should work fine. The only thing that could go wrong is a pip dropping the seed while the water is coming up. As you have seen, the seed drops down, both of the orders we just pick it up. There is the bigger part of the seed, there is the smaller part of the seed. So let's check. Yeah, the priorities are right. So the system should work fine. This next system is very similar to the first design, but is able to handle one tile, two tile and three tile high plants that are growing from the bottom and at the same time able to handle three tile high plants that are growing from the top. It is not able to handle dasher cell vines, but almost everything else. So let's check that out. It works just fine. But if you really want to industrialize your seed replication, manual is still the way to go. All credit for this design goes to Knowles. I'm gonna put his channel right here on the screen. This works a little bit different. You have a starting seed that lands here or two starting seeds that would be better but one works too. The seed will get picked up, placed in the dropper bin. It drops one kilogram of seed, get picked up by the right auto sweeper, placed in the storage bin but the storage bin only has room left for 995 grams. The rest of the seed also gets picked up by the right auto sweeper and placed in the conveyor loader. The conveyor loader then sends down five gram of the seed and the seed can get planted. Then when the plant drops, the seed will get picked up by the order sweepers here. The priorities won't allow the order sweepers on top to grab the seed to plant it. They are only allowed to grab the seed to send them back. When the seed is sent back, the automatic dispenser gets filled up again. First with the 995 grams from this and the rest of the grams, the 5 gram, from the seed that just got sent upwards. The timings on this are 2 seconds and 17 seconds and this only activates if there is no seed down here. These are just timings, each of them is set to 5 seconds. Probably you can change those up but I let it at 5 seconds. This is a buffer gate, filter gate, buffer gate, filter gate, buffer gate, all set to 5 seconds. This is just there, so first this activates, then the next activates, then the dispenser activates. Now let's test this, place down one ward seed. Okay, I missed a spot, but that's fine. The seed gets sent downwards and gets planted. This keeps running until we have a second seed and the system runs um, better. Let's speed this up a little bit. The one seed will get split again and again and again and we can use it for all of those weed wards. You can replace the farm tiles with flower pots so you can plant other plants and I've also added that if you have a seed there for longer than a couple of seconds, I set it to 10 seconds, you probably can set it to 5 seconds, then the notifier will tell you that all of the farm tiles have been used up and you have to manually activate the watch seeds again. Let's check that for a cycle. Now it tells me that the system is finished because we planted all of the seeds, the system stopped we only have two tiny pieces of seed here, which added up to one larger piece of seed, but that doesn't matter at the moment because we already gained 16.91 seeds from a single seed. Plant those again, copy the settings. And there we go, and that's how this system works. Also, some plants um, don't work with either this setup or the other setup. The fully automatic setup, for example, does not work for thimbleweed because it can grow underwater, Saturn critter traps because the pips will kill themselves, also they don't get destroyed by the liquid water weeds because even though they don't like some liquids, they refuse to die in them 
in time, sleet wheat because it cannot be stored in a storage bin and tranquil toes only grow reliable in farm tiles. Don't know why. It does work for bucket seeds, wart seeds, arbor acorn, grub fruit, oxyfern, balm lily, mealwood, nosh sprout, gas grass and the hydro cactus as well as the dusk cap, the buddy buds, the spore kits, bluff briar and the mellow mellows, bliss burst, jumping joya, myrtle leaf, dasha seldwine, pinch of pepper seed and all the mutated seeds. So everyone those are the designs and of course I put a download link for you in the description. And now it would be nice if you leave a like. Love you guys and Luma out.